Right, it's the uh, 19th of the 12th, 2020. I just thought I'd remeasure the radio levels. Now, usually it's very low. Consistently, it's about lower than this. But all of a sudden, it's got really high. Particularly, it's not it's not high upstairs, but downstairs in the main living room it's high and it's microwave frequencies now when you get higher up at head height and this um, meter the RF antennas on that side the um, magnetic antennas on that side and at the top there's an, um, a low voltage AV meter antenna so that side's the direction so the higher up you go, now look at those reading I tried it earlier and it went up to 1.06 1 and it was constant. I can't reach. Typical, it's not doing it now. But the frequencies are. It's picking up. Because um, it can't read two things at once, it picks it all up and then breaks it down into two signals you get the two different frequencies simultaneously one after the other displayed there's, there's the two 2.3 and 1.7 there we go so that's roughly head height so that's siphoning through your head at 1.6 and it's pulsing so that's constantly and you're not aware of it giving you a brain tumour or making you ill slowly and of course it's denied and they're legally protected if you try and sue them because they're a covenant of liars so you don't stand a chance when you're sick doctors know that uh, brain tumours have increased and, and if they're not heard then who is going to be heard? That's 18 megahertz, that's the cell tower so you've got all these different frequencies passing through your house now they could be directed or they could be from genuine usage but the question is they're unhealthy and you don't have a choice well you do, you can insulate your house but that will cost you thousands of pounds unless you want to paint your house in carbon uh, battle grey paint that you have to repaint every so often so you'd be double decorating if you've got the energy or the money to do it so that's that just wanted to capture that reading so all the best Maranatha. Right, just to give another reading. This is the kitchen. So that's this is the usual, all, all consistently through the house. I don't do it every day, but I do it every so often. Oh, there's a pulse. 19, see? That spike. That could be the uh, thermostat kicking in. it's usually very low and if that's the reading of the thermostat 19.5 out 58 that's a an extreme burst unnecessary and this um, this meter is accurate within 0.1 percent 
so it's not that it's not that far out and it has been calibrated and the battery's pretty good so there's a low reading I'll try other rooms right this is my landing upstairs a bit of activity from that side. This is usually the ambient levels. It doesn't even green light, it just stays at the bottom. Now I have turned the uh, LED indicator down to so minus 5 or minus 10 I think which is the default setting right that's that right this is my uh, bedroom again it's lay so it's just downstairs that's directly below my feet and at head height there's this extremely high pulsing Nineteen point five eight. That could have been, like I say, the central heating thermostat, which is quite worrying at that level. Uh, the safe level limits are point two, but it's it's different in every. Switzerland's got the lowest. Great Britain, there's no, there's no, there's no safety limits. It's just the sky's the limit. We might, I think we're the worst offenders in Great Britain. Trying to be the uh, trailblazers, I, I imagine. See how many deaths they can get away with. And make money out of the cancer drugs. Should I not say that? Is that not true? So I've got uh, yeah, low, low levels. But downstairs, where my dad sits. When my mum got a brain tumour, when my dad had a stroke, I don't, I don't know if there's any relationship. Uh, the, the question is, they're not, they're not going to look, so you're never going to know anyway, because they've already brushed it over and written it over as nothing wrong. It's all safe. Don't worry about it. It's your fault. So there we go. So to the glory of God, in the precious name of Jesus Christ, Amen.